In the shadow of the Cold War, when tensions were high and threats could come at any moment, one jet stood as America's silent guardian ready to strike, day or night. Meet the Northrop F-89 Scorpion, a jet designed to hunt Soviet bombers and protect the skies. But what made this interceptor so special? Let's dive in and explore the beast that patrolled the heavens. The F-89 was born in the late 1940s, a time when jet power was still new, and America needed a reliable all-weather interceptor. Northrop, already known for experimental designs, answered the call with something bold. Sleek, twin-engined, and armed to the teeth the F-89 Scorpion was named after the deadly creature for a reason. At first glance, the F-89 didn't look revolutionary. But its unique design told a different story. It featured Twin Allison J-35 turbojet engines for reliable thrust. A wide wingspan with large fuel tanks. And a two-man cockpit pilot and radar operator perfect for complex night missions. But perhaps the most iconic part? The wings. Not just for flight, but as launch pads for its deadly arsenal. Early models carried six cannons. Later versions like the F-89D ditched guns entirely opting instead for 104 mighty rockets. And the F-89J? That carried the nuclear genie missile. Yes you heard that right. A nuclear air-to-air -air missile. So how did it perform in the air? Well, the F-89 wasn't built for speed demons. Its top speed? About 635 miles per hour. Respectable, but it wasn't meant to chase MiGs. It was a high-altitude hunter designed to intercept bombers before they reached U.S. soil. With a combat range of over 1,000 miles and advanced radar systems for the time, it could operate in all conditions rain, snow, day, or night. It wasn't flashy, but it was dependable. And in the early Cold War, that mattered more than anything. What truly made the Scorpion stand out was its role in America's nuclear strategy. The F-89J was the first U.S. jet to fire a live nuclear air-to-air -air missile during testing. This meant it wasn't just a hunter it was a deterrent. The Soviets had to think twice. Because if a squadron of Scorpions launched, they weren't just shooting rockets they were launching mini mushroom clouds. From 1950 to the late 1960s, the F-89 was stationed at bases across North America often in cold, remote outposts like Alaska. Why? Because that's where Soviet bombers would likely approach from. These jets stood on constant alert, ready to scramble at a moment's notice. Though the F-89 never fired a shot in anger, its presence kept tensions in check. It wasn't glamorous, but it was vital. By the late 60s, newer fighters like the F-101 Voodoo and F-106 Delta Dart replaced the Scorpion. But its legacy remains. It was a transitional jet bridging the gap between World War II dogfighters and modern interceptors. It proved that air defense wasn't just about speed it was about vigilance, readiness, and raw deterrence. The Northrop F-89 Scorpion may not be a household name. But B, 